This is a Coke can and this is a CPU cooler. Today we're going to be seeing if you can use one of these instead of these. We're going to be trying two different methods such as the water cooled method by just filling it up with water and shoving it on the CPU and the air cooled method. And because the concept budget doesn't really stretch that far, instead of thermal paste we're going to be using toothpaste. Let's see what happens. So before we make this Coke can heatsink we're going to see how this normal heatsink will perform. So to make this fair what we're going to do is we're going to replace this thermal paste with, well, some toothpaste. This is what I'm going to be using on the DIY air cooler as well because I haven't really got any verbal paste on me. We should probably shut this down first, actually. Oh. You know what? That thermal paste is not bad. This heat sink is tiny. It is just a core to do, to be fair. So now what we're going to do is we're going to just... We're going to take the CPU out and we're just going to rinse it under the tap. Oh, power supply still in. That nah, maybe we should... As long as we dry the CPU after, this should be fine to do. All right, let's, let's add a bit of soap on it because the soap helps break it down a bit more. To be fair, it's not rock solid like they normally are. Probably because it's been refurbished. But then again, why would you refurbish a Core 2 Duo? Hopefully this don't kill it. I mean, it normally doesn't. I've, I've, I've done this many of times before. CPU is sort of dry, but it's still a bit... Oh, well, right, let's shove the CPU in before we break it. There we go. That might be a bit too much, but... Make sure give it a little jiggle so the paste can sort of smooth itself out. Let's tighten these in a crisscross pattern, of course. So now what we want to do is we want to put the shroud back on this fan. And let's turn it on. Power button. Is it going to post? Yep. All right. It's put. Oh, this is. And there we go. So now what we're going to do is we're going to get MSI after burner up so we can sort of see like what temperatures we're working at. And then we're going to shove Prime 95 on and then just stress test the CPU. So we're looking at these three for the CPU temperatures. And go. All right, so now that should be stress testing. Hopefully you can see all this, but it's going up. We sort of want to see how far up it goes until it sort of flatlines and sort of does that a little bit. So I'm just going to leave this running for 10 minutes and then we'll be right back. So it's been running for about 10 minutes now and, and it was sticking at about 70 degrees what we're gonna do now is we're gonna get on to making our cpu cooler so now that we've done that we need to basically bash this down uh, to make this completely flat because this is going to be sitting on the cpu so for that i'm just going to use the bottom end of this hammer so i mean i guess we just you know what i think that's actually working will that be enough once flat-ish, I use some sandpaper to scrape off the thin plastic layer that's on the can. Alright, so I haven't got any ice. We're just going to leave this tap running. The water's quite cold now. And then we're just going to fill this up with cold water. And then hopefully that should cool the CPU. Now let's get the CPU cooler off. Oh, yeah, look at how that toothpaste is. It's, it's not dried out yet, to be fair. Take that out. We're just going to wipe the sides of this first. I mean, I did use a bit too much toothpaste on, but... No, well, let's just wipe it whilst it's on the socket. That'll do. So now, let me get this position. So let's get the toothpaste out. We might have to use, like... That'll do. Let's hopefully not spill any of the water. Press this down. All right. Coca-Cola can CPU cooler. Let's turn the computer on. Oh, I didn't... I didn't seat the CPU properly. I have no idea if that's touching the CPU or not, but turning it on anyway. There is a fan <laughs> blowing directly at the Coca-Cola can, but I don't think that'll make any difference. Hopefully, it'll run for 10 minutes without overheating. We, we might have just made a kettle. Will you post? Yes, there we go, right. CPU temperature. Oh, it's dropping down. You know what? This might actually work. CPU temp. All right. The temps are dropping. To be fair, the stress test isn't on yet, but the Coke can is cooling it. This is technically water cool. It's just you have to replace the, the water every time it gets a bit too hot. Right, every time the CPU is being used, that seems to go up. So we've stopped at about 30, yeah, so about 37 degrees. Oh, I have a feeling it's not going to work quite as well as I thought. All right, you know what? Let's get Prime 95 up and then let's see what happens. Three, two, one, let's go. Stress test. Straight away, temperatures are going up. 69, 71, 73, come on. I mean, at least if it doesn't go past 78, with it, oh, it's, it's, it's gone past 78. No! Why is it not working? 92 to get... No! How do we stop the stress test? What if we just take it up? Oh, that might be why. It wasn't actually touching the CPU. This is a better position it is in now. All right, let's launch it again. Go. Stay at 60. Let me put some pressure on it. 79, 80... Nope. All right, this... The same... Oh, when's it going to plateau? Nope. All right, it's not going to plateau. No, it's, it's, it's not going to plateau. Okay. No, it's just... It's just... Uh, we might as well just take this off. It was... Oh, well, maybe we, sh we shouldn't have this stress test running whilst there's no heat sink on. How do we turn it off? What if I just take it off? All right, it stops at 69. So, I mean, it is doing something. So, I, if there's no heat sink on, it's 69. If I put it on... 
68, it drops down. It does cool it, but it just doesn't cool it very well. Yeah, see, look, it's dropping down. We're going to take this motherboard out of this case so we can have a better look at it, and then we'll be right back. So I've took it out of its case that's, well, just, just sitting on the floor now. I've extracted the power button and these two lights. I've also added this new power supply on because this, you can actually turn it on and off by here. Now what we're going to do is, we're just going to see if it'll turn on. So, I mean, we'll just put our temporary C pre cooler back on. Let's see if it turns on. Oh, wait, it's, it's not connected to my display. That's why it's not turning on. Maybe we should do that. That would help. Front audio not connected. All right, yeah, it's, it's just boot anyway. Oh, may maybe we should plug in the keyboard and mouse. F1. Yes, right, I think we're going to boot now. So with the air cooler method, what I was thinking is we'll slit holes down the side of the can and then we'll just shove that on top like that. Well, the air actually needs to be blowing into the can outwards, not out of the can. Oh, well. Well, it's time for round two. So I've cleaned up the CPU and the bottom of this Coke can. Shove the toothpaste back on there. That should be enough. So all of this is now touching the CPU, and well, let's go for it. Let's let's open MSI after burner. Let's have a look what our CPU temperatures at. Prime 95's running. 68, 70. I mean, it's not going up as quick as it was before. All right, stay at 95 and we. F nope. Okay, don't stay at that. Yep. Yeah, let's let's just stop, stop, stop. That fan's just blowing dust at me now. Let's see how much of that was actually touching the CPU. Yep, yeah, all right, but pretty much all of it was. Now we're going to try and turn this to an air cooler. But so I've emptied the water out of this, well, Coke can. I was going to say CPU cooler then. And let's turn it on and let's see how hot the can get. Oh, actually, already I can sort of feel it, how warm it's getting. I can't really explain, but I, c I can literally feel the heat rising. Yep, yeah, right, temperatures are at 90. CPU temperatures at 95 degrees. Can we cool it through the can? Will that do anything? 95, 93. Wait. Wait, this is working. Can feel the heat from the CPU, but. Oh, well, we've just. We've just choked it on tissue. How about if we reverse it? I, I don't think it's going to work under, under a stress test. Oh, it's not even touching the CPU. We, we might need to make a quick pit stop and just reapply it. I don't even think it was touching. Shove some toothpaste on. I mean, our, our goal is not to break this motherboard, but it's also to cool it down. That's mushed on there. That is covering the entirety of the CPU now. <laughs> Should we shove it under a stress test? Let's get Prime 95 back up. Right, we ready for this? It's just going to shoot up 100 degrees. All right, let's shove the fan on top. 98, 97. I mean, the fan's doing something because if we move it away... Right, what if we just aim it at the side of it. Is that going to do anything? Nope. All right. Straight to 100. Let's shove it on top. Should we, should we turn it off? Oh, 98. Let's see how long it will run until it turns off. All right. Don't don't eat my towel, please. Nope. nope. I mean, I could definitely feel the heat, but I, I need like a thermal gun or something. Oh, I can feel the Coke can heating up. This ain't cold water, but it's still water. Let's see if it'll drop. 96. 96. I mean, the water did do something. Is it even cold water? Oh, the water is quite cold, actually. The water is definitely doing something, then. How about if we add the water and the fan together? I think it's just going to stay at 98. Yep, all right. So, I mean... Stop chewing up bloody towel. Do I stop the stress test? Are you, you going to stop? Now, let's try and turn this into an air cooler. I highly doubt it's going to do anything, because this didn't really do anything. But you never know if you don't try. Oh, yeah, look at all that coverage. Yeah, well, let's scrub it off. For the air cooling bit, I was thinking, use a knife, slice some sides down there, and then we'll shove the fan at the top, so it will sort of suck the air in from the top, and then hopefully it comes out. I've got this knife. Um, oh, okay. We're just going to stab the Coke can. Hopefully making straight lines. I mean, I did just push a hole in and out the other end of it, so hopefully let's not do that. I don't think this knife's got a tip on it. Let me go get a sharper knife. So we've got the sharper knife. We're just going to make an incision here. Oh, yeah. I mean, this one's a lot better. But I don't know if you want to hear the ASMR, but... I don't know if this is going to work. If we angle the fins, sort of like this. And there we go. Let's see if that... Hopefully it works or does something, but... So we're back up here with the Minty Fresh PC. Oh, we're just going to add toothpaste on top of the existing toothpaste. The toothpaste helps the toothpaste. Just shove that on. That's got full coverage of the CPU. Should we use this fan or should we go with a different fan? I don't think it's going to work. Let's just get MSI afterburner off. I can already hear the fan ramp it. Oh, bloody hell. All right, the CPU's already at 98 degrees. Is this going to cool it down? By the looks of it. I mean, it's sort of... Mm. 
Prime to sort of is, but so, so it is dropping down a bit. Should we just shove Prime 95 on? Let's just the stress test isn't even going on and it's just struggled to open up the air. Stress test running. 98, 100, 100. All right, yeah, it's over. Oh, it's gone back. It's over 100. How about if we blow the caller sideways, maybe? Nope. All right, it's, it's not going below 100. Oh, well, the Coke can has come loose from the CPU socket, so... Is it hot? This should be hot, but it's... It's not really that... Oh, it's not really that hot. You know what? At least we tried. If you are... If you don't have this... Bloody hell. All right, I think we've just chipped a fan. Okay, a fan blade has f indeed fell off. I didn't even mean to do that, but if you do have a new computer and you don't have a CPU color with it yet, don't just try and make one out of a Coke can because it will not work. Thank you, people, for watching. Thank you for 100 subscribers. I mean, no idea how we've done that. And we'll see you in the next video.